In this video, we are explaining sharding components. So, what are the main components of this sharding? So, what is sharding? The following diagram shows the sharding in MongoDB using sharded cluster. So, now we can find that here we are having some set of shards are there. So, two or more such shards will be there in the respective shard cluster. And we know that in each and every shard, we are having the replica set. Replica set means multiple MongoD applications or instances will be running on the same data set and that is known as a replica set and out of all these MongoD instances, one instance will be the respective primary and rest of the instances will be the second, secondary nodes. So, only one primary node and multiple secondary nodes will be there in one replica set. In this way, you can have multiple such replica sets are there in the shared cluster. Now, this is the application server from where multiple applications are running and those applications are generating queries and these are known as the query routers. We can find that we are having multiple such query routers, two or more query routers are there. Now, why such more query routers? Because when multiple applications are generating huge number of queries at the same instance of time, so to do the load sharing, we can have two or more query routers are there and these query routers are nothing but Mongo's instances. So, we are having the application servers and they are generating multiple different queries to get satisfied from this MongoDB and that is why we are having multiple query routers depending upon the number of queries or the density of the queries getting generated at that instant of time, we can go on increasing the number of query routers and these query routers are nothing but we are having the Mongo's instances are there. So, Mongo's means we know that it is a client, it is a client process. Okay. Now, we are having this one that is a three config servers. We are having three config servers, exactly three. There is a config server, another config server and another config server. These config servers are actually containing the metadata that is the data about data. That means how this data have got ma mapped onto this shared cluster. So, this is the config servers are there. These queries will take the help of this config servers to get the information to get the metadata so that the query can get executed on this shared cluster. So, that is the basic architecture and we have de defined what is a sharding. Now, the components of the sharding components are first one is the shards and the shards are used to store data. They provide high availability and data consistency. We know that in a same shard, we are having multiple shards will be there. They are nothing but the replica sets. One primary node and multiple secondary nodes are there. And these secondary nodes will contain the replica of the data so that it in enhance the availability of the data. In production environment, each shard is a separate replica set as I have discussed. Next one is the config servers. You know that in the previous diagram, we are having three config servers are, were there. So, config servers store the cluster's metadata and this data contains a mapping of the cluster data set to the shards. How the data has got mapped onto the shards, so that information, that metadata will be kept in this config servers. The query routers uses this metadata to target operations to specific shards. So, these query routers will access this config servers data that is the metadata and accordingly it knows that on which shard you should execute the respective query. So, in production environment, sharded clusters have exactly three config servers. In the previous diagram also, we have shown you that we are having three config servers. Next, we are considering this query routers. Query routers are basically Mongo instances and interface with the client applications and direct operations to the appropriate shard. So, in the diagram also we have seen that this particular query routers, they are connected with this application servers and they are also communicating with this shards after getting the required information from the config servers. When this particular queries will be coming in many number of that means when the query will be in large number of then we can have multiple such query routers to share the load. 
So, we are having this one. So, the query router processes and targets the operation to the shards and then returns result to the respective client who generated the query. A sharded cluster can contain more than one query, one query router to divide the client request load as I have discussed. A client sends request to one query router and generally a sharded cluster have many such query routers. So, in this way, in this particular discussion, we have discussed what are the different sharding components available in MongoDB. Thanks for watching this video.